Well, here I've got yet another wonderful display of the truths of Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12, how Ishmael is a wild man, and how it most certainly applies to the spiritual descendants of Ishmael, the Muslims, the Mohammedans, the, off, the spiritual offspring of the false prophet Muhammad. This is uh, out of Uganda, once again, because they got a problem with a lot of the Muslims over there causing all kinds of shenanigans but this is over in uganda it says muslims poison pastor and couple that converted from islam to christianity it says that the death penalty for apostasy is part of islamic law it's based on the quran he quotes quran 489 which yeah that's exactly what the texts say about uh if you leave the, the uh, false religion of islam a hadith depicts muhammad saying whoever changes his islamic religion then kill him the death penalty for apostasy is part of islamic law according to all schools of islamic jurisprudence uh, this is still the uh, position of all the schools of Islam Islamic jurisprudence, both Sunni and Shiite. The late Sheikh Yusuf al Qaradawi, Qar however you say his name, was once the most renowned prominent Muslim cleric in the world. Uh, he stated, quote, the Muslim jurists are unanimous that apostates must be punished, yet they differ as to, de to uh, determining the kinds of punishment, the kind of punishment to be afflicted upon them. The majority of them, including the four main schools of jurisprudence, as well as the other four schools of jurisprudence, the four Shiite schools, agreed that apostates must be executed. Kara, Kara Dawi also once famously said, uh, quote, if they had gotten rid of the apostasy punishment, Islam wouldn't exist today. Yeah, exactly. Because here's the thing. There's a saying that goes, without lies, Islam dies. Because that, that's just how the Luciferian cult of Islam operates. And, and, and they, can, they, can do, they can lie too. It's called a taqiyya or sacred deception. They're allowed to lie to defend Islam. I'll be coming up with a video on that, so stay tuned. But it says here in the article, uh, Pastor of Christian Couple Poison in Western Uganda, this is on Morningstar News, says uh, in Nairobi, Kenya, a pastor in Western Uganda remains in a hospital intensive care unit after Muslim extremists poisoned him and a Christian couple on November 24th, sources said. Pastor Francis uh, Kuti... Kutek Zurizia, not good at pronouncing some of these African names, I do apologize, uh, the, at the age of 51, was meeting for prayer with the couple, recent converts from Islam, in the Kigorbia sub-county, Ahoimia, Hoima, whatever it's it, uh, district, at 6 p.m. when seven Muslims intruded into the house, said the husband, whose name is withheld for security reasons. Led by a local Muslim extremist, the group began uh, began trying to force them to eat cooked bananas uh, laced with fungicide and causes and that causes uh, putmain poisoning. The husband said, quote, it was a real struggle in the house. The husband said, uh, 27 years old, told Morningstar News, three men held the pastor and the remaining four were on our next. We took uh, some pieces of bananas before escaping, but the pastor could not escape. Nearby neighbors heard their cries for help and the assailants fled after kicked after having kicked and beaten the pastor, he said. Within three hours, Pastor Kutizik Erza, again, probably not saying that right, but uh, was suffering nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps, and diarrhea. The husband and his wife, at the age of 23, had the same symptoms after five hours, he said. The couple received treatment at a uh, Kaigori, uh, kai oh, again, I'm probably not saying that right, so just bear with me, a Kaigori Ba health clinic for three weeks and were released on December 14th, but the pastor remains in critical condition. He was transferred to a hospital in Hoima. Uh, quote, the pastor is still battling for his life in the, hos in the hospital bed, unquote, said a Morningstar News contact. He has a swollen stomach, swollen leg, swollen face, and has affected and uh, has affected his walking and vision. And that's what these Muslims did to him when he was meeting with these converts away from the false religion of Islam. More proof of the fact that without lies, Islam dies. And when they can't refute you in the, I guess, the debate realm, you could call it, well, they're just going to resort to violence because that is exactly how the children of Ishmael, the spiritual descendants of Ishmael, will act. Again, what does Genesis 16 verse 11 to 12 say? What is, how does it describe Ishmael, wild man, against every man? And how do the, the, his uh, spiritual, the, uh, the, the spiritual descendants, do you apologize, I was blocking out there for a second. Spiritual descendants, the Muslims, how are they going to act? Wild man. Plain and simple. Islam is the spirituality of Ishmael as shown by instances like this. And also Proverbs chapter 8 verse 36 where God says, All they that hate me love death. That's Islam. It's death worship. And this, this right here is more proof of that. So I wanted to point that out. Remember, without lies, Islam dies. Don't be deceived by Islam. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.